Please welcome to the stage, Frederick and Joe. Thank you very much, Sune. And hello, everybody. My name is Joe, and this is Frederick. And we need a clicker. And a beaver. No. Oh. Can we get our presentation? Oh, no. I can do some I performance art instead. Oh, that I could fumbled be. it. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, no. Yes, okay, I will reset the clock. That's right. Okay, I may, s I may have messed up your font. It's okay. And I know that you're design people, so you're going to care about it. But you know. The dog's asleep, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Okay, here we go. Let's try again. Hit it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are co-founders of uh, Another Tomorrow, and we are an interdisciplinary team who discover, prototype, and test ideas fast and explore future opportunities. Yeah. And we're sharing the mic. So we have a deep knowledge about hardware. Yes, you know, this is a machine that Joe built a couple of years ago. Uh, no, but we actually have. We've been working with a lot. Joe has an artist background. He comes from London where he did a lot of uh, art installation and stuff like that. And moved to Sweden and started working for, you know, Nike and Google and stuff and doing crazy stuff. Um, I have been working in the um, digital industry for 20 years. Before that, I was in uh, jet engines, uh, doing f uh, flight aircraft mechanics, and been doing a lot of uh, uh, subtracting and manufacturing. Uh, you know, the, that's a word we never use nowadays, but uh, I used to do that, a lot of stuff. And I've been fortunate enough to work at Google with Google Glass and Chromecast and a lot of Android Wear stuff. So, but today we're here to give you a little different angle to uh, what we're doing. Uh, because prototyping is our tool. So this is a project we did for the Royal Academy of Science um, when we started back in September last year, actually. So we're a pretty young company. They came to us and said that, can you help us run a design sprint where we uh, work on the hardware of future of cod fishing, you know, the trolls and stuff like that. Um, and the, this is what happened. So it is... Um a, a, a an interesting situation that we happens often that we get asked to explore h old industrial uh, technologies and how to. Sorry, that's not the fire alarm, is it? <laughs> okay, good. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. But basically, this, I mean, the b massive shift of transforming from the uh, industrial technologies that completely destroy our planet in various different ways and try and find an enlightened digital drone-based future. Uh, and in fact, that was the, the first instinct from the client was that we should explore hardware and, and it should be flying drones and it should be robotic fish. Um, but in fact, when we brought together uh, an interdisciplinary team from across the industry, so we brought together people advising uh, the EU uh, from the Danish government, fishermen who've been uh, fishing in the same place for three generations, sustainability scientists and WWF came over from Berlin, and then we brought in other digital uh, people. We actually realized that through this two-day sprint, um, that the, the kind of solution was, was not a hardware solution. It was actually something quite different. Yeah, so uh, we our product is a sprint, a uh, design sprint it's called Sling. This is our process. So actually when we, we, we got them to experience their challenge, sort of, we realized quickly that, you know, we have to back from the hardware thing to look into the overall experience, to the holistic view on, of the problem. And when we did that, we ended up in something totally different that they were expected. And so this was actually a, 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 a platform, a data platform, where we could actually understand what all of these different players in this industry, in the fishing uh, world, were, were talking about, which we together named the Internet of the Seas. And this became uh, a vehicle to be able to, in fact, like change the industry from the, from the, the stakeholders within it, uh, rather than just building the kind of tech uh, solution uh, originally. And this is something that we work with uh, in every single project that we do. We apply our process and we, we bring in interdisciplinary specialists uh, in order to create prototypes, but not necessarily hardware prototypes, but prototypes of the experience. And we think that's a really important way to approach uh, designing things today. 
Yeah, and basically, I mean, we have a process that allows us to fail fast. Uh, you know, it's very short period, it's very fast, the longest form is two days. But basically, for us, it's about to, 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 to make the right it before you make it right, sort of say, if you get it. So it's about prototyping not only the hardware, but also the experience, because in the end, this is what people are going to live with when you release it and turn it into an innovation. Thank you. With 10 seconds to spare? Yeah, it's a pretty quick talk, but do you have Good any job. questions? Yes. So can I learn more about what you mean? Uh, at anothertomorrow.io. Uh-oh. Beyond that? Uh, you can talk to me after this. Um, you are welcome. Cool. Any other questions? Fishnet? <laughs> it was on the on the table, yeah. Fishnet stockings, perhaps. <laughs> the domain was not available, so <laughs> it didn't it didn't work. <laughs> but thank you very much, and this is a fantastic community. So we're very uh, yeah appreciative of being invited by Suna and and the yeah, app being able to present yeah, here. And so for Suna. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys.